Hello, welcome to Wayne's Master Class. The topic I'll be talking about today is USP. Do you know what is USP? Now pause the video and comment down below if you know what is USP. I bet you don't know because you haven't attended Kenneth's marketing course or marketing course. Throughout Mr. Matt's marketing course, I have learned a lot about marketing, and the most memorable one would be USP. And today I'll be talking about why do we need to use USP, and what is USP, and I'll give some examples for you to figure out more about USP, and you might find it useful in the future when you are making marketing analysis. USP is the short form of unique selling point, and this unique selling point defines the success of your company. If you don't have one, your company might not be successful. But if you have one, then you can stand out from all of your competitors and make your customers delightful, and they may feel like, "Wow." I must buy your product. So, this explains why we need USP to stand out from our competitors. After we make our customers wow and delightful, we can build a profitable customer relationship, and this will build loyalty, and we can ensure the company's profit and sales as they could have. Repeated consumption, and also customers that feel wow about our product will also recommend the product to their friends, and this positive word of mouth would definitely help your company. Now, in the question, how to define a company's unique selling point? In fact, it is really easy. After listening to Kenneth's marketing course, we just have to STP, which is segmenting, targeting, and positioning. After these three steps, we can know about our customers' preference, what we target, so that we can understand what our customers truly need. Then we can put ourselves in their shoes. And then think of our unique selling point, so that they can love our product. Now, I will talk about how STP could help a company find its USP. First of all, segmenting. We segment the whole population into different groups. For example, we segment the whole population into three groups: the elderly, the adults, and the children. For example, if we are selling toys, of course we target the children group. So this comes to the second step, which is targeting. We choose which group to target that suits our product. Another example. Uh, if we are selling vehicles, of course we will target the adult group. And after we target the adult group, then we go to the last step, which is positioning. There is a lot of car companies in the market. Then how do we stand out? Let us take the car market as our example. The point of parity of the car market is car that is powered by fuel. However, Tesla wanted to stand up from its competitors, so it figured out the point of difference, which is to sell cars that is powered by electricity, which is more environmentally friendly, and this. 
is the unique selling point of Tesla, which become very famous in the market. I hope that the example of Tesla could help you figure out what is the point of parity and the point of different, and also the unique selling point. And I hope that the example also shows how USP can help a company stand out from its competitors and also make a company successful. Before taking Mr. Matt's marketing course, I have heard some of my friends telling about how fun his course is. And actually, before having it, I doubt. But just after the ten minutes of the first class by Kenneth, I already can feel his energy and his passion in teaching, and it made us more engaged in. Lesson and also more eager to answer his questions as he always encourages us to do so. And never am I a in class, which is missing in action. So that I have learned a lot and paid a lot of attention in his class. So at last, I want to thank Mr. Matt again for providing so much fun and. Interesting marketing courses to us, and I hope that I can spread the joy to all of you. So that I recommend all of you to to register the course.